So here we are in the Metro Detroit Men's Series Invitational down to the final four bowlers. In this case, uh, Mike Dickerson qualified uh, fourth and he's bowling Christopher Stewart, bowling third. So Christopher, Christopher starting out in the left lane, leaves that five pin. I'm sure he's gonna make it or else they have to buy everybody a beer. Christopher's uh, third place in, in qualifying with 845 for four games, while Mike Dickerson had a great 261 this fourth game at 838 for the final qualifying spot. And there we go. Um, Chris has a nine spare in his first frame. You know you owe me one now, right? Michael's out of the gate on lane 12 in the first frame with a perfect strike. And now he moves over to alley, excuse me, yeah, alley 11 for his second frame. Michael's ball really grabbed the lanes on this second frame shot. Uh, went to the left of the head pin. Left the close line, the one, three, six, ten. So let's see how he converts that. Not an easy shot with all the drive that Mike's ball has. Let's see if he can flatten that ball up and make that spare. Oh my gosh, Mike chopped the one off the one, three, six, ten. So uh, he, has 20, he has 24 in the second frame. Now we have Christopher up on lane 12. Goes right to the nose, leaving the uh, three, six. Christopher had games of a uh, 188, 213, 220, and 224 for his qualifying for the 845. So, Christopher makes us bear. He's got 18 in the first and working on a spare. Once again, Christopher gets up on the left lane, throws a beautiful strike. Now leaving him with 38 in the second frame and working on a strike. Mike Dickerson's four games for qualifying were 160, 233, 184, and that great 261. Mike threw a beautiful strike, hitting thin and taking that seven pin out. That was on that alley 12. So let's see if he can recover on that alley 11 where he had a hard time in the uh, second ring. Just can't get that ball to the right on alley 11. Again, he missed that head pin to the left. And leaving uh, three quarters of that uh, close on again. Left the one, three, six. He needs to make that so he doesn't lose any more count. Oh 
my, oh my God, you couldn't believe that. He took out the three pin from the 136. That is not easy to do. He's running into bad luck. Oh. So up there on alley 12 here, Chris hits the, the nose leaving that 4, 7, 10 and uh, making the match closer again, unless he can convert this. That is not an easy split. And he gets only one of the two pins. He just took out the seven pin. So, so that leaves him, with, that leaves Chris with 64 in the fourth. 64 in the fourth versus 50 in the fourth to Mike. And Chris has that uh, 14 pin lead. So back on 11, Chris is perfect with that solid strike again. Mike is all up, up once again on 12. He's been perfect on 12 each time. Let's see if he can continue to be perfect and really pack that pocket and carry that. Oh, comes in light and just blows the pins left for a strike. Yeah. During this mass match, Chris is having the strikes on the left lane, where Mike's having the strikes on the right. Once again, now here, sixth frame here, Mike is bowling. Uh, yeah, Mike is bowling and uh, looking for his first double. Comes in the nose, lead three six ten. Let's see, let's see if we can put that away for a spare and uh, keep this match close. So, Mike covers it perfect. That's his first pair of the day, and uh, he now is 70, 70 in the uh, 70 in the fifth. 70 in the fifth, working on spare. Uh, so Chris comes up on alley 12, so a perfect strike. It's the first double of the match, and that's given him a 24-pin lead at this point. It's right here. Because he's got 64 in the fourth, working on a double. Oh, almost a solid nine for Chris on the left lane, alley 11, but he knocks that nine pin out, and he's got a three bagger, which we call a toiki. He's got that toiki. up on the right-hand lane. And he missed the pocket, he swung it wide, he got trapped in that oil, and he left that wash out. One, two, four, ten. Let's see if, let's see if he can cover this and uh, have to slide that uh, one pin into the ten pin and uh, Give himself that spare. Oh, bad luck. The, 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 the one pin goes flies right around the neck of the ten pin, and he's got another open. So that leaves Mike with 95 in the seven. And uh, Chris Stewart seems to really has control of this match at this moment. Mice can have a lot of recovery to do, a lot of recovery in order to get back into this match. Well, let's see if he can throw, 
strike at alley 11 and start a strike. Comes high on here and leaves the 4 7. 4 7 and he'll be shooting that spare. Dickerson covers that perfect, so he's got that spare in the uh, spare in that frame. So once again, uh, Chris is setting setting himself up on alley 12. It's that ball down the line, perfect strike. Four bagger for Chris. Four bagger. 64 in the fourth, and working on four. On alley 11, he's coming up to that pivotal ninth frame. Even though this margin is really getting big now. You know, it, it's over 50 pin, over, over a 50 pin advantage to Chris. So Chris, Chris comes up high in the ninth frame, leaving that 4 7 with an 8 pound. His spare. Okay. Oh. Makes the four pin only. He's got to open in the ninth. And that leaves 180 in the ninth. Mike Dickerson setting himself up here on alley 12. He's really hurting. But let's see uh, let's see what he can do out here. Cool. Oh, his favorite hit. He hit in between and just blew him left. So 115, uh, 115 in the uh, 115 in the eighth here for um, Mike working on a strike. Dickerson throws his first double of the day. So ninth on the frame, he's working on the double. Chris has, Mike has a possibility of 175. Unfortunately, that's just not gonna be good enough because um, you know, Chris already has 180 in the ninth. Now, now he's cooking with gas. He's got his turkey there. Second strike in the tenth. Full count will give him 175, as I said. And uh, at least they came back uh, pretty good right at the end. Boy, he uh, finally getting that ball to the uh, to the right on that alley 11 and. Uh, just blistering those pins. Count ball is nine with a ten pin. Mike ends up with one seventy. Three. No, that's one seventy four. One seventy four for Mike Nickerson. Okay. Tenth frame for Chris. Those are his ball on the strike. So Chris Stewart will move on to the next match, bowling Terrence Bell. Uh, and uh, Terrence is probably warming up somewhere, getting ready for the next match. Almost a 7-10 from Chris on that second shot in the 10th. Leaves that four pin. With the spare, he'll have 200. 
So that'll be a 174. Oh, he missed that. 174 to 199. 25 pin victory by Chris.